close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. You're going to watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Try to pay attention to the breath, too, to see what kind of breathing is comfortable. You might want to start with some good long, deep in and out breaths to emphasize the sensation of breathing, and then let things settle down to what feels just right. Not too long, not too short, not too heavy, not too light. You want a kind of breath that you can stay with, because after all, you've made up your mind you're going to stay here. And this is an important quality to develop. It's called determination. You make up your mind you're going to do something, and you stick with it. You do it. You see it through. You use your discernment to choose good things to do. And then you're true to your initial determination. You learn to give up things that need to be given up so that the determination sees its way through. Like right now, any other thoughts that come through, you don't want to think of them. You don't want to follow them. They can come through, come into the mind, but you just let them go out. And then try to calm the mind down in the midst of all this, because you're working on something good. You're giving some direction to your mind. You're training it in good qualities, mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, alertness, the ability to know what you're doing, ardency, the tendency to want to do things well, and discernment, figuring out what's the right way to do it, and what's working and what's not working, and making adjustments. Just a simple process like staying with the breath. If you really make up your mind to do it and stick with it, you're going to have to develop these qualities as well. This is why it gives new direction to the mind, a good direction to the mind as well. Because otherwise, if we don't give our direction to our own minds, who knows what's going to give it directions? We bounce around like dust motes in the air, bumping off of this, bumping off of that, not really going in any real direction at all, just back and forth, back and forth, up and down, in and out. And it's usually our, our, our own defilements and other people's defilements that are determining how we get bounced around. Our own greed, aversion, and delusion, their greed, aversion, and delusion. These things bounce us around all the time, and we end up not going anywhere at all. At least not going anywhere we really want to go. If you want your life to have a good direction, you have to give it a direction. Decide what you really want in life, and realize there are other things you're going to have to give up if you want that. It's like playing chess. There are times when you have to give up your pawns, give up your bishops, even give up important pieces. But as long as you win in the end, that's all that matters. In other words, you get what you want, you give a direction to your life, and it's a good direction, you and you attain it. That's the quality of determination that really makes a big difference in your life. So ask yourself, what direction are you giving to yourself? Because if you don't give yourself direction, your greed is going to give you direction. Anger is going to give you direction. Delusion is going to give you direction. And the directions are all over the place. Most of them pull you down. So try to find something that's going to pull you up. So you can look back on your life and say, oh, I did something important with my life. I did something worthwhile with my life because I made a good determination and I saw it through.